welcome back guys welcome back to crown geek now today in the morning i had a problem where my cpu and the ram usage exceeded above 90 percent and it was very close to 100 percent the reason was i recently reinstalled windows 11 and i did not optimize my computer so i looked around and found the top 10 fixes in order to reduce the high cpu and the ram usage on windows 10 and 11. So you also need to apply the same solution so let's quickly get started number one that i recommend you always that kindly go ahead and close all the applications that currently you are not using to so make a right click on the windows icon click on task manager now here in the cpu and the memory usage you need to find out the application that is consuming the high resources so if i look on my memory and if I click on it, so it will show me the top application consuming the maximum usage. And I can find Google Chrome on the top. So what you will have to do, if you also find Google Chrome, then you need to open a Google Chrome browser. Click on the three dot at the right hand top. Then click on setting from the suggestion. From the left hand menu option, click on performance. Now here you will be getting an option of memory saver. This is a very important part. You will have to enable this option. Once enabled, again click on the three dot, hover up to extensions, then click on manage extension. Now you will find here all the extension installed on your Chrome browser. Now you need to find out the extension that you are not using or you don't identify. So whichever you are not using, kindly go ahead and remove it. Uh, these extension occupy a lot of resources all right so once you are done you can close it then you have to find other application as well so whichever is using the high cpu or memory usage you need to make a right click on it and choose end task so now next what you will have to do right click on the windows icon then click on settings from the left in menu option you have to click on personalization then click on colors now here you will be getting an option of transparency effect. However, this is a good feature in order to get the good appearance. But if you have the high CPU and RAM usage, then kindly go ahead and disable this animation. So you will find the difference if I disable it. So there is no transparency effect. And this is totally the different color from the background. And if I enable it, you will find the similarities. Okay, so in order to reduce it, I will have to disable this option. And then from the left in menu option only, click on privacy and security. Now here you will find a lot of windows permission. So click on the general one. And here you will find all kind of advertising and many other options. So disable all four of them. Again, go back. Click on speech. Disable speech inking and typing personalization you have to disable it diagnostic and feedback you have to disable it activity history disable it then here in the app permission click on notifications and disable the notification option then you have to look for the other apps here so let's see if you are using pc or even the laptop but you don't use the camera option then click on camera and disable all these camera options Okay, so this is all up to you, whichever you don't use, disable it from here. Then also disable like radios, messaging and app diagnostic. These are really used by the customers. So kindly go ahead and disable all these options. Once you are done, then again from the left in menu option, click on Windows update and also make sure that your windows is up to date now majority of the time i have found that if there is any kind of lagging issues any kind of problem high usage problem then that is just because your windows is being outdated okay so if you have any update available kindly go ahead and update it okay so once you are done with all these settings close it now next we have to disable a few services so click on your windows search type services Hit the enter key the first service that you have to look here will be sysmain so click anywhere then click on the s key and then you have to look for sysmain here it is once you get it double click on it in the startup type you have to click on the drop down and choose disabled 
then click on stop click on apply and then click on ok now next if you are not using any kind of printing service if you don't have a printer and if you don't use it then look for another service called print spooler service you will find here print spooler double click on it again startup type choose to disabled then click on stop click on apply then click on ok now you can close it now next you also need to make sure that you disable all these startup application that comes along with your computer so right click on the windows icon choose task manager now in windows 11 click on the startup app from the left hand side on windows 10 you can find on the top now here you need to find all kind of third party application and you will have to disable it third party application like onedrive discord skype steam or any other kind of third party application that you can manually install from your own self do not touch any kind of wi-fi audio file or any kind of anti-virus file because that should be continued as running in the startup all right so once you're done again you can close it next click on your windows search type sys dm dot cpl hit the enter key the system properties will be up now here from the top menu option click on advanced then in the performance click on settings now here in the visual effect this option should be selected to let windows choose or adjust for best appearance now here you have to go with the third option and basically this will be disabling many kind of animation so if you really want to improve the performance so the computer should run faster and it should occupy less resources of your cpu and the ram then you will have to go and disable these animation choose the third option adjust for best performance and then you will have to enable show thumbnail instead of icons and smooth edges of a screen font then click on apply and then from the top menu option only click on advanced now here you will find the virtual memory option now we will also increase the virtual memory so that whenever we open multiple applications so the virtual memory can come into work and it can also manage those applications so that our physical ram should not exceed 90 percent so click on change option here and now this will be basically set to automatically manage paging file size so you will have to uncheck this option then you have to select the custom size so you can see i have already I uh, created this initial and the maximum size. Let me explain you how you will have to do this. So for the initial size, you will have to enter the value in the MB. And let's say that if you have 4 gigabyte of RAM, then you have to convert that 4 gigabyte into MB by multiplying 4 into 1024. So if you have 16 gigabyte of RAM, then multiply 16 by 1024. If you have 32 gigabyte of RAM, then multiply by 1024. So I have 16 gigabyte of RAM, so I will type 16, multiply by 1024. So this is my value of RAM in MB. Now for the initial size, you have to multiply this number by 1.5. So this is the value that I'm getting, which I have already entered here. Now in the maximum size, you have to multiply the total number of RAM in MB by three times. So again, I will type 16, that is my physical RAM, into 1024 as I am converting this in MB. Then I will multiply by 3. So this is my value 49152. This is how you need to enter this value. Then click on set, then click on OK, click on OK, then click on OK again and you can close it. Now next, click on your Windows search, type virus from the suggestion click on virus and threat protection in the virus and threat protection setting click on manage settings and here you will find an option cloud delivered protection however this is a useful feature but only used by a few people so disable this option and this will be surely improving and reducing the cpu and the ram usage once you are done close it now click on your windows search again type cmd right click on the command prompt choose run as administrator then click on yes 
now here you have to check disk so the first command will be chk dsk dot exe space forward slash f space forward slash r now if it says do you want to restart the system so press the y key and let the computer restart the next time when the computer will restart it will be checking the disk and fixing many kind of problem all right so after applying all these solution kindly go ahead and check back if your problem has been fixed if the cpu and the ram usage has been reduced or not now in case if nothing worked for you then finally you also need to make sure that your bios is up to date so in order to check that what kind of bios version you are using you can click on the windows search type system information click on system information and here you will find the bios version date so you can see i have the latest one that is feb 23rd of 2023 but if you find a very old date like 2017 19 or 2020 then you will have to update your bios because outdated bios can also create such kind of problem so for that i have already created a video that how you have to update your bios you can check out that video and hopefully after applying all these solutions you will be surely having the difference and if you find the difference do not forget to like and subscribe and for any question let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye